I was diagnosed with a really aggressive form of breast cancer about six days after my son's first birthday. As someone who is a teacher, a mom, I had lots to, lots to live for and I thought to myself, you know, I got this, I've got my children to live for, I'm gonna be good. You know, I just have to get through treatment. Um, but unfortunately, uh, within a couple of months of uh, my 18-month treatment, it was clear to me that the challenges were not what I expected. No one can really prepare you for the physical side effects. Um, they were varied and long um, and enduring. However, the mental health side effects were something that I'd never thought about. And those were probably, in a lot of ways, the most challenging aspects of my treatment and diagnosis. One in three women who are diagnosed with early stage breast cancer go on to have a terminal diagnosis. And so things that really propelled my depression were things like, am I going to see my son go to kindergarten? Am I going to see my daughter finish grade eight? Um, so it was difficult. I was definitely having a mental health crisis. My role here is to really provide um, trauma-informed holistic care to patients of the hospital and in the community. So I do that uh, on an individual basis as well as through a variety of group therapy uh, modalities. We do a lot of grief and bereavement work and we also do some really cool um, experiential uh, work to complement the skill development. I think the programs are life-saving uh, in a way that people maybe don't immediately recognize because they help you to heal. We have, we have big ideas here, um, but none of this would be possible without the consistent backing of the Shoppers Foundation for Women's Health. So because of you, we can do the work that we love to do. Thank you for having these programs because I saw the impact firsthand, I felt the impact firsthand, and I used the skills that I learned in their programs three years later. I use them every day.